the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Jesus our Lord is risen. Hallelujah. Today we celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus from the dead. This is the central mystery of our faith as Christians. As the Apostle Paul tells us, if Christ has not been raised from the dead, our faith in Him is useless. We too are invited to rise with Jesus, but first we have to die to our old self, our selfish desires. Only then shall we rise again as new men and women, repentant, full of hope and happiness. Glory to God in the highest. begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The resurrection of Jesus is the heart of the earliest Christian kerygma. That is the public announcement of God's salvation through Jesus, victory over death. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea. 
beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are all witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging in him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God, in advance who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead he commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead to him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. resurrection challenges the Christian to die to his corrupt and wicked ways and to rise as a new person, sincere and faithful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? 
Clear out the old yeast, so that you may become a fresh batch of dough, inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our pastel lamp, Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark, and so the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter, and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon ay naghahatid sa atin ng bagong buhay. Si Jesus ay namatay at muling nabuhay. Tayo rin ay namatay dahil sa ating mga kasalanan. Ngunit dahil sa muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, tayo ay pinatawad at iniaahon mula sa ating pagkasadla sa libingan ng kasalanan. Kaya ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus ay nagbibigay sa atin ng Bagong pagkakataon, bagong buhay. Kung naging malalim, naging taimtim ang ating mga dasal at mga pagninilay nitong Semana Santa, simula pa sa linggo ng Palaspas, yung ating mga pagpunta sa iba't ibang mga simbahan para sa bisit bisita iglesia, yung ating pagsagawa ng mga daan ng krus, yung ating pagsama sa mga prosesyon, yung ating pakitinig sa pitong huling wika, yung ating pagkukumpisal, at yung ating pagdalo ngayon sa salubong. Sana magbunga ito 
ng pagbabago sa atin. Kasi ginagawa natin ito taon-taon. Taon-taon. O nakailang taon na kayo? Ilang taon ka na ba? Kung walang pagbabago sa loob natin, ang mga ito ay mistulang mang palabas. At taon-taon, ginagawa natin ito. Ngunit, kung naging malalim, tunay, at taimtim yung ating pagninilay, at namulat tayo, nabuksan ng ating mga mata, at nakita natin na ang dami ko palang dapat ayusin sa buhay ko. Ang dami ko palang dapat baguhin sa buhay ko. At makita natin na kaya ko naman pala eh. Kaya ko naman palang magbago. Dati-dati salbahe ako. Kaya ko naman palang maging mabait. Dati-dati mayabang ako. Kaya ko naman palang magpakumbaba. Dati-dati madamot ako. Kaya ko naman palang magbigay at tumulong. Dati-dati biyulente ako. Madaling uminit yung ulo ko. Madali akong magalit at manakit. Pero kaya ko lang palang maging mahinahon. Maging maunawain at maging maawain. Dati-dati ako lang ang laging tama. Ngayon kaya ko lang palang makinig sa iba. Dati-dati wala akong galang sa magulang ko. Pabaya ako sa magulang ko. Ngayon, kaya ko lang palang maging responsable anak. Dati-dati, inuuna ko ang mga bisyo ko. Alak, sugal, at iba pa. Ngayon, inuuna ko na ang pamilya ko. Dati-dati, ang hilig ko gumawa ng kwento na hindi totoo, ang manira ng iba. Ngayon, natuto na akong magsabi ng totoo. Dati-dati, ako lamang ang parang pinakamagaling. Ngayon, marunong na akong paunahin yung iba. Dati-dati, umaasa ako sa iba. Ngayon, marunong na akong tumayo sa sarili kong paa. Dati-dati, nakikinig lamang ako kung anong sasabihin ng iba. Ngayon, marunong na akong gumawa ng sarili kong desisyon. Dati-dati, pag may mga mabibigat na problema, may mga pagsubok, may mga pinagdadaanan, natataranta ako. Natatakot ako. Nagagalit na ako sa Diyos. Ngayon, matibay at matapang na ang loob ko. Dati-dati, hindi ako marunong manindigan. Ngayon, marunong na akong ipaglaban ang aking pinaniniwalaan. Dati-dati, umaasa lamang ako sa iba. Ngayon, marunong na akong tumayo sa sarili kong paa. At hindi na ako laging nakatanghod sa paanan ng mga politikong laging namumudbod. Ngunit ngayon, ako ay sumusunod sa mga totoo, tapat at tunay na naglilingkod. At sa totoong Diyos lamang ako luluhod. Eto ang mga bunga ng muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon sapagkat nabubuhay sa atin si Kristo. This are the tangible effects of Easter. The risen Lord is alive in each one of us. Kahit di na sayang, 
yung pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ni Kristo. Sapakat ang muling nabuhay ni Kristo ay nabubuhay sa bawat isa sa atin. May silbi, may pakinabang ang pagkamatay at pagkabuhay ni Kristo. Nagbabago tayo. Nagawa ni Jesus ang dapat niyang gawin. Gawin natin ang dapat natin gawin. Natupad ni Jesus ang kanyang misyon. Tukdin natin ang sa atin. Magsitayo po tayo. Ngayon sa seriwain natin ang ating mga pangako sa binyag. Nung tayo ibininyagan, malilit pa tayo ngayon, noon. Hindi natin alam anong ginawa natin ang nangyari. Ang ating mga ninong at ninang ang siyang sumagot para sa atin. Pero ngayon, tayo na ang sasagot sa mga tanong na tinanong sa atin nung tayo ay bininyagan. Kung kayo po ay may mga dalang mga kandila, bariyo na pong sindihan. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, Let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which once we renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so, I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I too. And my Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, was given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by His grace. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Ngayon, nuwisikan ko po ng holy water ang lahat po ng mga naririto.
Mari na pong patayin ang mga sindi ng inyong mga kandila. Prayer of the Faithful Father of love and mercy, we lift to you our supplications on this glorious feast of the resurrection of your Son. Keep alive in us the peace of the risen Christ as we pray. Father, fill us with peace. Father, fill us with peace. Lord, may Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and those who lead and serve the Christian community truly follow the example of Christ in humility and self-offering, we pray. Father, fill us with peace. Lord, may those leading and aspiring to lead our nation have the genuine desire to serve the common good so that people may enjoy justice, respect, freedom, and self-determination, we pray. Father, fill us with peace. Lord, may those who are newly baptized and all those who are baptized in Christ hold fast to the life of grace as we rejoice in Christ's triumph over sin and death, we pray. Father, fill us with peace. Lord, may you heal the world in agony because of the COVID-19 pandemic, especially those who are infected, jobless, hung hungry, and in dire need, we pray. Father, fill us with peace. Lord, may those who died in joyful hope of eternal life be welcomed into the, your reign in heaven, we pray. Father, fill us with peace. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, fill us with peace. Father, as we rejoice in this all-filled mystery, may we never cease to thank and praise you for the gift of redemption. We ask you to receive our petitions in the name of our risen Savior, Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray my dear brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for good and the good of all His holy church. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, was taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation 
giving thanks that you beheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. In confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. Narito si Jesus, ang muling nabuhay na Panginoon na nabubuhay sa bawat isa sa atin. At siya ang pinagmumulan ng tunay nating pagbabago. He's the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Look upon your church, O God, with unfading love and favor, so that, renewed by the Paschal mysteries, you may come to the glory of the resurrection to Christ our Lord. Amen. Mula po sa mga kaparian dito sa Manawag, ay pinaparating po namin sa inyo ang aming mainit na pagbati ng Happy Easter po sa inyong lahat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you to, the day, to today's Easter solemnity and in His compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. 
And may He who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of His only begotten Son, endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion has drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Prayer for the... Ngayon po yung dasal po para sa mga may sakit. Yung mga may sakit po na naririto po ngayon at kahit wala po rito, pero naalaala po natin sila, isama po natin sila sa dasal na ito. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness to our, to our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawat, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ayon po yung pagbendisyon ng mga religious articles. Wag na po kayong alis sa inyong mga kinaroonan. Kami na po ang lalapit sa inyo. Manatili lang po kayo sa inyong mga lugar. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. So may mga pabendisyonan po, mangyari po lamang napakitaas lang po ng mga pabendisyonan po ninyo. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulars, crucifixes, prayer books, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 